How's it going boys? Danny here. So I've been seeing this question asked quite a lot and that question is what classes can you play in New World? Um, and the short answer is none. There, there are no typical classes like you would find in WoW or Guild Wars or Lost Ark. You basically level up your character the way you want to level that character up and I'm going to run you through that now. So your character is made up of three main elements. Your weapon, your equip load, and your attributes and these three elements will determine the way you play your character and ultimately what kind of class your character will become over the past alpha and beta tests people have naturally been forming into the the typical holy trinity that you see in your mmo rpgs and that is a tank a healer or a dps you can do this in New World 2, but the great thing is, if you have the in-game currency, the weapons, the armor, you can pretty much swap between these builds as you wish. So as a healer, you would look to take a Life Staff, which is a focus-based attribute weapon. The more points you put into focus, the more bonuses and the more healing you'll be able to do. As a tank, I would suggest you take the Sword and Shield as your main weapon, as it has some fantastic defensive and team-based passives. It also has the ability to have some taunt capabilities when combined with the Carnelian gems for PvE. You can partner the sword and shield up with some fantastic secondary weapons. I personally love the Warhammer, but also the Great Axe, the Ice Gauntlet and even the Hatchet are great weapons to complement the sword and shield as a main tank build. And finally, as a DPS player, there are a wealth of options for you. You could take an intelligence based mage build combining the ice gauntlet and the fire staff or you could go dexterity based running the musket, the bow, the spear or the rapier, um, a nice bit of range with some close combat as a, as a secondary or you could play a strength based melee player running the hatchet, the great axe, the warhammer, the sword and shield. These can all be combined to create a bit of a hybrid build between two primary attribute stats. After you've selected your weapons and your attribute point path, you will of course want to make sure your armor matches your decisions. A lot of my playtime in New World has been pretty much being a tank. Like I really enjoy leading raids, leading armies, leading wars. So on that front line, I really want to be strong and have a lot of health so I can try and direct the fight as much as possible. Um, but what I found is in territory wars, I would run my heavy armor, which is you know really powerful. I'm, I've become really strong. But in the open world, I still ran my same tanky build, but I swapped to light armor, which gave me a, an added dodge roll rather than just a small sidestep, but also gave me a plus 20% uh, damage boost. So there are, there are different ways you can play pretty much any build. Your combined weight of your equipped armor and shield will determine the equipped load, and each load offers unique bonuses, and I'm on screen now. So if you are light, you have a quick dodge roll that covers quite some distance and you also deal 20% bonus damage. If you have a medium equip load, you will have a quick hop instead of a dodge roll and you will deal 10% bonus damage and your crowd control debuffs will also apply 10% longer. If you're wearing a heavy equip load, your dodge becomes a slow sidestep, but your block ability is increased by 15% and your crowd control debuffs also apply for 20% longer. So to conclude, there are no real classes in New World. Your character will be totally unique to you, giving you basically complete control how you play the game. And it's pretty awesome to know that you can change these almost on a daily basis if you wanted to. And that's it boys, that is just a quick overview on how the class system works within New World. If you do have any questions, if I have missed anything, please leave a question in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond to everybody. And thanks again for watching. I will be streaming over on Twitch, which is Danny TV, uh, pretty much almost daily, actually, when New World launches. So I hope to see you all there and stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one.